It's very obvious, we cannot ignore it. And sometimes in the conscious level, we call the consciousness, uh, physical consciousness. So that means you're conscious. If you have itching in your body, okay, you scratch, because you're conscious about a part of your physical body is itching. That is the physical consciousness. And then you've got the emotion. Emotion, we separate into two. One is called E, uh, in short, of energy. Energy, emotion. It's automatic because they link. And we call it mental state. It is a part of your mind. Part of your mind. That means you are thinking, processing, integrating, and also uh, categorizing. And also, simultaneously, you automatically accept and reject whatever information comes into your attention. Okay? It's immediately. For example, you have a... Um, a bad experience, okay, with certain type of people, um, certain type of people. You fell in love, okay, once upon a time with a very tall guy, okay, I make, make a story up, very tall guy, and then you have a very bad experience, okay, when you were 15 or 17. And then you will then, okay, you know, after that experience is not very nice, and then you automatically, okay, will say, look, I'll go for the short one. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. <laughs> and then, you know, for, for guys, if you have uh, some, you know, experience, okay, when you were a teenager and you have, uh, you're searching, okay, for healthy chess ladies, okay? <laughs> healthy chess ladies. And then you have uh, some not so nice experiences, okay, you know, and then you, your finger gets burned, that is what they said. And then when you, when after that, okay, you will, you will then go for somebody is, you know, more um, airport chess ladies. Okay, so it's automatic because, okay, you know, the mental state is automatically searching for what is acceptable, what is unacceptable, and what is pain and what is pleasure. It's true, just to let you know. And whatever is painful, okay, in your childhood, teenagers and adulthood, it's automatic, it's a mind thing, okay, automatically, okay, we suppress and deny. Are you all right? Yes. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> I just hate you. <laughs> Okay, uh, it's automatic. And then the mind, a lot of people don't understand. Some psychology, you know, study about that. They, they've been told, okay, you know, um, deny, suppress, okay, it is whatever, it is unpleasant, we also deny and suppress. And then it's automatically project. Projection means, okay, I don't see it in myself. I see it in you. So, or I see it outside me. So that's called projection. A lot of people don't understand about this, you know, simple mechanism, okay, of the mental state. So that means, okay, what happened then, okay, some psychologists, okay, discover, okay, there's about 5%, yeah, right about 5%, we live our life in conscious level, conscious mind. I want this, I understand this, reason, logic, and whatever. However, most people, their mind is being governed by 95% of their subconscious program. And we all got that. So, and I said, without awakening, so uh, you got no chance. So meditation is enable you rise above the energy as well as the mindset or individuality, that means you. And then if we put the rest star on top to look at yourself. Without stealing your mind, you cannot do that. Because your mind is a very much like a radio frequency. It continues wholesale to you. You just respond to any kind of stimulation from outside, and also your mood, as well as your feeling, and your mind continues, okay, reflecting what, it, what on your conscious level. That is a conscious life. So that means what you're conscious is only a little bit. What you're unconscious, okay, at this moment, Huge, huge, very deep, subconscious and unconscious state. So, why is it so important, okay? Because only in meditative state or hyphen meditative state enable you stealing your mind, your mind, here is your conscious level. You still have to utilize your conscious level, enable you to notice what underneath, very much like a pond of water or a a water, okay, a still pond of water. If the water is quiet, 
and then all the sediment, all the sand and mud, okay, sinking down to the bottom, and then you notice what underneath the pond, the water. Make sense? So you notice your intention. You notice what are you fear. You notice your dream. You notice your obstacle. You notice, okay, there is some program I'm not good enough. There's a program, okay, I'm angry with somebody. There's a program I hate my father. There's a program, okay, you know, the world is a shitty place to live. Or you may have a good program, okay? My mother said, okay, you are, you are very intelligent. My mother said, I'm attractive. And then your mother, your mother approves your father, okay? You know, it's a potting, blah, blah, and so forth. You notice the program. But if you're not still in your mind, you don't know. You're being ran, okay, by the subconscious program all the time, or belief system. Interesting, isn't it? However, you don't know until we hit the button. Hit the button means, okay, they rising up on the conscious level. So on the day in, day out ex ex experiences, your button is continuous being pushed because, okay, we interact. When you interact with friends, family, especially close family members and the world, you continue to respond. But quite often, your response is based on your subconscious, unconscious programming. Fascinating, isn't it? What that really means then? Everybody see the world differently and respond to the same thing differently according our subconscious program. Without knowing it, you cannot change it. It's automatic. Without knowing it. So knowing it is important. So the wisdom then come in, okay? The, the, uh, the famous axiom in life, know thyself. Not, you know, the, the higher self yet. Know thyself, also knowing this person you're sitting here now. Why I'm upset? Why I'm happy? Why this person attracts me? Why this, okay, you know, attracts me sexually, the other attracts me emotionally and so forth. You should know yourself. Simple, because it's you. You live your life. That is your subconscious program. You are stealing your mind to see that. The other aspect it is when the pond of water or the mind become clear, it reflecting what is above. That is come into the metaphysical. It might be relating with some religious belief, and later on, it will bypass even religious belief and doctrine. Because later on, you notice, okay, there's a something more in life. To start with, we utilize the sunshine, because it's very easy to visualize. And later, okay, some of the students, okay, when they practice reaching certain level, they have something called spiritual experiences. Spiritual experiences it is not really wishy-washy. Spiritual experiences enable you to expand your consciousness. Expand your consciousness. And transformation happens when you're reaching a level of miraculous level. That is what we're teaching, okay? Miraculous level. Fully, we experience it today. What is a miraculous level, okay? I give it to some to you first, and then we're going to uh, do some exercise. Miraculous level. Okay, based on the energetic level first. I give you one to one thousand. I quite often utilize this uh, chart now. One to one thousand. One, it is near the dead warm up, is everything alive. But it is alive. <coughs> Is a stone alive? Yes, because it got emanation. The crystal more alive than this piece of ceramic because the emanation is more. Whatever got emanation, okay, it got life, it got consciousness. Make sense? That means your consciousness is much higher than all or most animals down on earth. You should because you are highly intelligent. Your vibration at this moment is much higher than most animals. And your vibration is higher than the crystal. Make sense? Because you're more alive. Because of that, human, human species dominates the world at this moment in time. 65 billion years ago, the dinosaur, not the crystal. But seemingly they are, you know, gone. Then they prepare the place for you guys to dominate the world. Everything is vibra vibrating, okay? Consciousness as well as energy. And one to 200, okay, or 199, 
200 down. Energy cannot support life, as well as consciousness. I just euthanize energy first. Energy cannot support life. So that means if you are ill and sick, your vibration, okay, let's say physical vibration very low, you can tell. Like this. Can I have your phone number? Who wants to have your phone number? <laughs> Go on. I mean, got an idea? Some of you are very young. You're still in uh, what I call the dating game. So, nice to be attractive. Everybody wants your phone number. Do you like that? <laughs> I would, okay? So, listen carefully to this uncle. Very, this uncle very experienced in this subject. If you want to be attractive, okay, you have to listen very carefully now, okay? Do you make notes? <laughs> so, <laughs> vibration, vibration, vibration. Okay, so um, very important. If the physical body is sick, your vibration low, and it drags your feeling down, emotional level, as well as you know physical down. If your emotional level not feeling good, later, okay, the physical become ill and sick and vice versa. So that is the reason why the physical, your emotional state, as well as your mental state, is not real you. But at this moment, most of us identify, this is me. It seems very deep, okay? Are you still following? Am I simple enough you follow? Because it's very important. It might change your life forever, okay? And then, you know, some of you have wife and children at home. So when you're back home to tonight, they might not recognize you. <laughs> Wow, she said, Father, you're deep. <laughs> so, I mean, wow. It's true, okay? So, those things happen. And this is an individual consciousness. But most individual consciousness, very conscious. For example, you're itching or aching in the body. You identify yourself because you're conscious. You say, my body, or it's me. I got ache and pain, or ill and sick. So, that is a physical consciousness. And then you identify with yourself as me, me. I call it me self, not me shell. Okay, me self. Got it? That's me. Do you understand? This is a physical body. This emotional, you know, feeling your feeling and your thought and your belief system. You said it's me. Make sense? Without awakening, observer, okay, you believe this is you. But with observer, you notice there's another dimension of you. Because you, this you, can observe it, me self. Got it? You can see that. I call this process called awakening. But majority of people is down here. They believe in that's me. This is my car. This is my woman. This is my man. Dare you to look at my man. They all do. <laughs> okay? Because when you got a me self, Everything else, you put a, uh, a, uh, a pronoun, I say pronoun, in. You said my car, my baby, my wife, my business, my money, okay? By the way, it's mine, it's not yours, isn't it? <laughs> but when you, when you observe, when you become observer, you notice, okay, what are you doing? If you can observe, you cannot all be me. Only when you Voluntarily, that is the, 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 the trick, okay? If you can master your mind, you can voluntarily to go and back down to play as you me. But not many people doing it yet. You said, how many people? Not many. If you uh, uh, notice a book called Power Versus Force, and the author, okay, you know, he's the one who dedicated, okay, for calibration uh, consciousness, it's called Dr. David Hawkins. He described it. Is 78%, okay, you know, of humankind, um, he actually described 78% of our human consciousness, the consciousness, collective consciousness, is under 200. What's that really mean? It's like this. He denoted 175 is pride, and he said it cannot su support life. And 150 is anger, we got plenty. He cannot support life. And one, two, five, that is our shopping mall, our desire, okay? 
desire is 125. And fear, calibrated on 100. Those are calibration, give you some idea. And if you are fearful, you don't want to, you won't kill yourself. Trust me, because you're afraid, okay? Eee. You don't kill yourself. However, if underlift fear is 75, that's grief. Extreme sense of loss, you become grief. We all got this emotion, by the way. It's just one word that's described, okay, energy field. But then, you know, we all human beings understand about, just use your imagination, you understand what's it like. Grief, when you're grieving, you're not fearful. But then the energy is very low. And then after that, it is 50, is apathy, hopeless state. And then, of course, okay, there's an opposite, yin and yang. Whatever you got, there's an opposite. For example, desire, the opposite is aversion, disappointment. You got aversion of disappointment, okay, for prolonged periods of time. I love you so much, I want you so much, but I cannot have you, sleep with you, and stay with you, and live with you forever, okay? I got depressed, I want to suicide, yeah? I want to kill myself. Got it? That's the opposite. Desire got the opposite as well. So that's aversion. And then, okay, you know, there's a pride, and then, you know, if somebody lock your price down, for example, something happened to you, and then you feel, okay, very sad. That's the opposite. 30, very low, is described as guilt. And then 20 is shame. And some of you can associate shame and sin, go hand in hand together, and then we all got that. The lower the vibration, the more you go down to the black hole. However, here is 200 upwards, very important. It is what you're starting to experience. Courage. and integrity. That means integrity do not mean moral only. It also means wholeness. Wholeness. And as you're rising up or your consciousness level, 250, you're okay. They call it neutrality, but basically, okay, you're okay. You're easy. You're fine. And then 310, you're willing. That is a very important that mark your discipline. 